Hey guys, I hope you're having a great day. It's finally happened. I have such a massive pile of shame now. You know, when I first started 40K, I thought I was going to be the type of person that wouldn't buy something new until I'd finished everything that I already had. That isn't the case, and I may have bitten off a bit more than I can chew. So today we are going to be going through my pile of shame. I also have a bunch of new units as well, which I'm gonna show off. And I'm also going to be entering another tournament in about a month's time, so we'll talk a little bit about that too. Let's uh, start off by looking at the new stuff. Okay, to give you guys a little bit of a backstory on this, a couple of months ago, I joined a 40K club here in Auckland, uh, Auckland City Guard, and made a bunch of friends there, and everyone there is super nice. I've been playing games I think almost every single week since I've joined. It's been so good. I've been learning a lot. Anyway, the guys there are so nice and as some of you may know if you've been uh, following my, my channel, uh, I did get married a few weeks ago and a couple of the guys at the club kind of came together and chipped in and got me a few new units for my Death Guard army. So I was completely like blown away as to how nice and kind they all were. I have Death Shroud Terminators and another unit of Blight Lord Terminators, which is just amazing. Like it's incredibly kind of these. I've only known these guys for like a couple of months, like I've said. So I just, I cannot believe that um, they, they did something like this. Now, the funny thing is the day before <laughs> they gave me that, I had actually ordered my own Death Shroud Terminators. So I have two units of Death Shroud Terminators now which is really cool. Actually, I uh, used them for the first time this week, and I think they're great. They're so cool. Can't wait to use them more. Now, on top of that, this is where it gets a bit out of hand. I picked up some cultists. Now, one thing I love about 40K is how it's not just like trying to kill the other person. There's a lot of kind of like strategy and trying to like outplay opponents. I love units that provide a lot of utility, like my Nurglings, for example. I absolutely love them. They have terrible stat lines, but on the field, they, they cause so much disruption and they're just so much fun. And uh, I really wanted to try out cultists uh, for their scout ability and just to see what they can do for 55 points. I think they provide quite a lot of value. So really looking forward to, to trying that out. Now, the last new unit that I have, it's probably not right to call it a unit, but I picked up the Death Guard Combat Patrol box set because I really wanted to try out Typhus and Poxwalkers and try more of like a Horde style. And this obviously comes with a whole bunch of extra things that, yeah, I am going to be stuck painting for a very long time, I think. <laughs> so that is all the new stuff. Now I have put together a bit of a to-do list to try and manage it all. So let me bring that up and take you guys through it. Okay, so I've put together a bit of a to-do list to kind of help me uh, manage how I'm going to tackle all of this uh, new work that I kind of put on myself. I'm really sorry if you're watching this on uh, like mobile or something really small, it might be really hard to, to see. I tried to figure out how to change the font size on sticky notes, but I couldn't figure it out. Anyway, basically on my to-do list, I've got a uh, finished base of Foul Blight Spawn, which I've almost finished painting. I just need to like do a little bit of touch-ups on the base. Um, so that one won't take very long. I've then got build, paint, magnetize, plague spewers for PVC. That's probably not very high priority. That one might stay on the list for a while. I need to paint and base my brigand and carnivore, which I call them brigand and carnivore. I'm not really sure what I'm going to run them as at the moment. Uh, magnetize all war dog weapons. I'm actually waiting for some magnets to arrive. So once those arrive, I will be able to do all of that and then paint up the war dogs and finish those off. So Hopefully they arrive within the next week or two and I can get onto that. Paint and base Death Shroud. So I have put one of the units together, just a matter of painting them now. Create a tournament list. Yes, so as I mentioned, uh, I am entering another tournament and it is a doubles tournament. So really excited about that. I've never done a doubles tournament before. I have played a couple of doubles games, but they were very early into my 40k journey and I didn't really know a whole lot about the game now, whereas now I know so much more about the game and I've got so many more different units that I can utilize. So really looking forward to putting a list together for that. My teammate, the guy I'm playing with, he plays Iron Hands. So it's quite an interesting mix up. It's gonna be a lot of tanks and I don't know what I'm gonna bring yet. Oh, we'll figure it out. We haven't had the session yet, but we'll we'll put something cool together. Mortarian, uh, so I need to finish his wings. I need to finish his arms and head. Uh, he's got a lot of extra bits, like little nurglings and things, which I need to finish and I also need to finish the base. I can show you guys. I have been doing a little bit of work on the base, so you can see here 
Uh, if I bring that a bit closer, I casted his base parts using UV resin and blue stuff. It all fits, like he still sits in this stuff really well. I can't wait to finish that. I feel like I won't be using Mortarion in my army for a while, so this one for me is just kind of something I'm working way on in the back end, in the background. Uh, sort out metal sheet and magnetize bases by two containers. This is more just... I'm running out of space in my container to actually store all of my army, so I'm looking for solutions around that. Finish painting last Blightlord Terminator. Yeah, I've got one Terminator left. He's just sitting here, actually. Who I've put some green on him, but uh, you can see I haven't really done much else. And once I've done this, then that will be my first unit of Blightlord Terminators uh, done. And I've had them for so long, he should have been done by now. Put together and paint new box of Blightlords. Same for second box of Death Shroud. Jeez, that's going to take me forever. Paint unpainted two Space Marine heroes. So I've still got a couple of uh, Space Marine heroes, the Plague Marines, that I have uh, sprayed, but I haven't even touched yet. And it's probably just because I haven't been using many plague marines on my list usually i'll have one unit of five or seven it's been a while since i've run more than that when i was doing like 500 point games right at the start when i didn't have many units i think i did like two units of five since i've been building up to a thousand point lists it's uh yeah i've only been doing one unit put together and paint last two space marine heroes so i actually have two more in the boxes still which i need to put together and paint again i'll get onto those at some point put together and paint cultists typhus biologists Poxwalkers and extra seven plague marines. So yeah, that whole combat patrol box. I'm gonna have to just think about how I'm gonna prioritize these. I'd love to do typhus and some poxwalkers think first, I think. But just when it comes to like painting the poxwalkers, oh my god, that's gonna be such a miss mission. There are so many of them, right? Create nurgling markers. Oh yeah, so in my Nurgling boxes that I have, I've got quite a lot of uh, Nurglings left over, and I was thinking of um, buying some small bases and just putting the Nurglings on some of them just to use for, you know, like when uh, units are battle shocked or if they've got an enhancement or something like that. Just visual reminders for the battlefield because I always forget stuff. That's on my to-do list. And then I've got learn how to apply decals, decal, decals. Uh, that's for my Chaos Knights. I, I want to learn how to put some of those on because in the box it came with all sorts of things. I think in the Rhino as well, I've got a whole lot. So... I'll have to check those out and see which ones I want to put on. Outside of like uh, miniature stuff, I still haven't finished reading the core rulebook. You can see I'm about maybe like a quarter of the way through. There is so much lore in here and I try to do like at least one or two pages a night before I go to bed. But it's um it's taking forever. And then once I've done that, I actually did buy another book, The Dark Imperium, which is I believe is about Space Marines versus... Death Guard. I think it's a free series, a free book series. So really looking forward to, to reading this. Uh, I'm assuming the Space Marines are gonna win this one, but it'll be cool to learn a lot more about the Death Guard and, and uh, their lore. So as you can see guys, I have got a lot on my plate at the moment and I am going to be very busy painting and putting together and doing all sorts of stuff for my army over the next, uh, I'm assuming this is gonna take me months to finish. You know, the stupid thing is, there are still a few units that I would really love to have in my army. Hopefully I can uh, constrain myself and not purchase any more for a little while. I mean, geez, once I've put all of this together, I, I'll probably have enough units for like 3,000 points, right? Uh, I still mainly only play 1,000 point games, but well, um, that'll change eventually. A few of you guys called this uh, earlier on in my journey, um, and there have been a lot of mentions about uh, piles of shames uh, accumulating in the back and yep I've, I have become one of those people too so yeah glad to be part of the club if you've made it this far into the video guys I just want to say thank you so much for watching I hope you're still enjoying the journey it's, uh, it's, uh, it's a whole lot of fun it really is uh, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and I look forward to seeing you guys next time see ya